If you wanted to make a concert grand harp, it might take you a year, but we can do a pretty good job with a box and some rubber bands. This is one that's already completed. And I have a regular box here and another file folder box here. You can use either one. If you find a shoe box, the smaller the better. You can decorate it any way you want and then get a bunch of rubber bands. If you can find ones of different sizes, that'll be the most fun to make different sounds. So you do want to make sure you have a grown up helping you. You don't want to get your face too close just in case these do break. And you just stretch it over the box. Make sure you like the way it sounds. That's pretty good. I'm going to use a blue one next. That's pretty similar. So I'm going to try to find a smaller one that'll stretch even more and maybe make a higher sound. That's pretty good. So this is pretty done. That's a good harp right there. And now if you have a file folder at home, you can make a different kind of harp. Maybe you might need bigger rubber bands for this one. The more you stretch them, as long as they don't break, the more tension there will be. And the, the pitch of the rubber band will change. Good, that's two different sounds. Let's see what this thick one sounds like. Pretty good. Got another big one. Sometimes you need to adjust a little bit. Pretty nice. Da, 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 da. And I think we need one more. That one's going to be too small. So use another blue one. So you can either pluck it or do your glissando. And that's how you make a harp.